Welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks the answers. You are the current, the one asking the question. Today is January 23rd, 2024. It's a Tuesday. I want to know what the current energy for the day is for the collective. Good fool. This is the one I call the Derek card. This is where he ended up in a spread. He was the fool. He doesn't like that he's the fool. He's very offended by this. This is about taking a leap of faith. Having a childhood spirit. Uh, one who doesn't really think about the consequences of their actions. Just jumping in feet first, all in. But she's protected. She's closing her eyes. She's feeling her intuition. She's going with the flow. There's harmony in this water. Calming of the emotions. Take a leap of faith. Jump all in. What is it that you want to do? Is it a new relationship? A new career? Something you're thinking about investing in? Very nice energy. Carefree. Although that stick there that she's holding on to doesn't seem very stable. So very, so be very careful about putting your faith into someone or something else too much. Uh, you have to have the faith in yourself and know that you're not going to fall. And even if you do, it could be life-changing. It's going to bring you to harmony. This mandala here, balance. And that water looks a lot more inviting than standing on the cliff. You almost want to jump in. Something very enticing there. This is divinely guided. Have faith. Whatever it is that you want to jump into, you have to make that choice. What is the situation that you have to make the choice of whether to jump in or not? What is the current situation to where you have to make the choice to jump in or not? Page of Wands. This is another one about being carefree, not caring about consequences, taking a risk, trying something new, enjoying it. 
Page of Wands, this is fast. This is a student. This is somebody that's learning something new. Passion. What is this new thing that we are learning? Ace of Wands. How to use your intuition. Become one with spirit. Mm -hmm. New beginnings. Starting over. Again. Wands. Fast. Fire. Summertime. This is within days. Does this opening up to your intuition have to do with, hmm, I'm not sure how to ask this question. Is this energy surrounding my career? Nine of Pentacles. This is Earth. Grounding yourself. Wisdom. <laughs> Tangible things, material things, spiritual things. This has to do with your spirituality. If you're like me and learning to read tarot, this is about your career. This is about your passion in tarot and connecting to spirit. The white bird there reminds me of spirit. The pentacles are something tangible. That's your abundance. Those are your coins. That's the money you're going to make. This is the feeling you're going to have. When you open up to this intuition, to spirituality, and just have fun. Don't think about the consequences or if you're doing it right or wrong. Just throw it up in the air. See what happens. Jump in, feet first, into this harmony. Very beautiful energy. So I'm gonna pull Wild Alfredine card. What is the energy surrounding this newfound enlightenment? Money. Got this one the other day. Money is coming in. This, this sounds like a career for sure. Based on passion though. And having fun. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So don't worry about it. No matter the consequence. This is going back to your full card. 
Don't cling to gain or fear loss. Just jump in. Have a good time. Offer to the divine. All my finances are in divine order. Beautiful. All right, let's get an affirmation for today. What is my affirmation for today? Mm -hmm. In regards to this career and money, My truth is as pure as I react, and I react with benevolence. It's tough, but being nice to all humans, creatures, and aliens is the honorable play. Even if a meanie weenie is slandering, criticizing, or giving you swirly, you don't know what kind of stink a meanie has been subjected to, whether it is emotional trauma or literal shit in their pants. Reacting to meanies by being a meanie is only a win for team meanie. Instead, smile and radiate kindness towards the troubled soul. Your truth is as pure as how you react. Lead by example with benevolence it gives permission to the meanie to heal. This is, um, hurt people, hurt people card. Okay. Sounds like you need to come out of some sort of hurt so that you can share love and heal. I'm gonna get another one of those. Affirmation. As I see my moments, they are mine forever. Does life feel out of control? You wake up and realize you're trading your time doing things you don't really care about so you can make money and buy things you don't really need to impress a bunch of goobers you don't even like. How will that change if you reclaim your power and repurpose your energy to support your passions, purpose, and all that excites you? When you seize the moment, it's forever. It's yours forever. If it makes you smile, it's worth the endeavor. Okay, this goes with that. Just have fun. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what other people think. This is the day. This is your time. Just do it. Do what makes you feel good. What do you have passion about? Don't worry about these meanies, these naysayers that say you can't do it. That you're not worth it. As long as you live in your passion, you're going to have this good time. You're going to have the abundance because you have the wisdom. And you're jumping full in. just get so excited about doing all these cards. We're going to do your crystal wisdom. <laughs> I have a peeping Tom through the window over here, scaring me. Hey, crystal wisdom. Shh. 
Shungite. Discipline. I practice the art of discipline and it brings me freedom to my soul. And that is your energy for the day. Thank you for joining One Who Seeks. And we'll see you tomorrow.